on there and he was asking about this and oh you know they say they're an avid dude or this and that i said that's absolute crap oh and they say they're an avid dude yeah so with the sex stuff and all this nonsense i said that's absolute nonsense they should be jailed immediately yeah right <laughs> I said, that's the best place for these sexual predators to hide behind religion. Oh, right, right, yeah. Like the priests. <laughs> like the priests. They've been doing it for centuries. Yeah. That's true. They don't even get prosecuted. They get a, the, 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 their, oh, their yeah, bosses. They don't a free car because people don't want to, you know, people don't want to um, acknowledge it. Yeah. And they think nobody will believe them if they come forward. Or that the guru is so holy they're going to get... Uh, Ramfic. They, they, they will, you know, be punished for it or, you know, etc. Yeah, yeah. And the problem is these idiot sexual predators that are posing as world gurus, you know, they're sitting there grooming these people like a sexual predator does mm -hmm. to to tell them oh how special they are etc it's horrible the people it's fall for it horrible there is no sexual thing ever in a spiritual path that is going to further anything right that's of the body has nothing to do with spiritual forwardness in consciousness. Absolutely nothing to do with it, moving forward in, in any type of a thing. Now, yes, there are some tantras, local tantras that do sex, but again, you know, like I said on that before, what it was done way, you know, when they had real heavy caste system. If the Jews are from person it was not done specifically by the quote unquote gurus, but it was to break through this mentality of higher and lower caste. Hmm. They would have a higher caste with a lower caste woman and then part of it is to break through that mindset. Hmm. I see. But it's not other than that, it's not moving anything forward. This idea that sex is going to help move Kundalini, sense. Yes, when it goes through the lower areas and it's going through that type of consciousness, then one does have that proclivity to want to do that. But no, if somebody's engaging in that, they're not in higher consciousness. They're way down in the bottom lower consciousness level still. <clears throat> They haven't even, you know, come up to heart level yet, let alone the higher, higher levels. Hmm. Okay, so if they're, you know, sitting there and approaching people for sex and telling them it's going to move there, you know, and how absolutely fortunate they are. You know, forget about it. Right. Yeah. People get sucked into it somehow, big time. He groomed into it. Yeah. And oh, the guru, and I'm so special because they take an interest to me, you know, et cetera, et cetera. These are abuses of your station. Of power. It's an absolute, it's worse than anything. It's like on par with a teacher, you know, if there was a teacher that's having sex with young children, mm -hmm. with their students, their young children in school, you would not hesitate to prosecute them. Yeah, they would not hesitate for one second to get them away from those children. It's the same thing with spiritual seekers. 
there should be no hesitation in, in jailing these so-called gurus mm. and keeping them away from people because they have absolutely destroyed the trust of these people. Yep. So yes, you know, Sai Baba, I've spoken out against him before. Muktananda, Nichananda. And there are many more of these predators out there. And it's heinous. It's absolutely heinous what they are doing. The minute any of that immorality comes to the forward, you, you can guarantee they are not a guru. Because you cannot have immoral deeds behind a preacher and a teacher of morality. 100% not. Well, it's good good for people to know that they have nothing to fear if they encounter this. They should step forward and turn the person in right away. Immediately. Yeah. And the courts need to take notice of this, and they should immediately put them behind bars like they would anyone else. Right, yeah. Not let, let them off the hook. Right. Or society is not going to change. Mm -hmm. So this idea that they're above it and they're beyond it, if they're stuck in the nether regions and they can't live a life of abstinence, then they are not, you know, they are not a realized being. Right. They're down and dirty with sex, they're down and dirty in sex, and they're right down there in the trenches with everybody else. They have not been raised in consciousness. 100% not. Right. Very clear, very easy test if there is, you know, this type of thing going on. Don't walk towards the door, run. Right. Run towards the door. Well, again, a guru, you know, doesn't have to hide, you know, and if they're hiding things, again, there's no transparency. And these things are always hidden. Don't tell, don't talk, you're special, don't say anything. That's a predator. Right. They don't have lines of people coming up for sex with the guru. Okay? It's not done out in the open. That should give a hint right there. Okay? There's something vastly wrong with it. And they know it's wrong. And that's why it's kept hidden. Very simply. So, do I have any patience for any of that? No. <laughs> when there's abuse and there's predators, and there's lies and there's deceit, I have absolutely no sympathy for it. I am not going to turn a blind eye. I'm not going to be like an ostrich with my head in the sand. I don't care how unpopular I am by speaking out. That's fine. At least my conscience is clear. Right. I have done all I can to put the word out to aid people. Whether they listen or not is another story. That's on them now. But it's no longer on my conscience because I have spoken out for what the truth of the situation is. Right. Nice. Again. So we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, 
anyway, I don't know if this is recording or not. I it doesn't look like it. It looks like the Skype thing has gone. I don't know what's going on with it. But no. anyway, I told this gentleman I would be happy to talk with him, but he wants a week to get his questions in order. I said, what? You know, you asked if you could talk with me. I said, I would be happy to do the Skype. Let's do it. If you have these, what questions do you have to get ready? What are you going to research? <laughs> no scripted things here. I don't work with scripted patterns. If you have questions, you should know God sakes what your questions are. <laughs> Just kind of flow out. I probably have this recorded, I think, so I could I could send you a copy if you like. Yeah, I mean if you're going to come here and you ask if you can ask questions and I give you the opportunity for Satsang, I give you the opportunity to record it and put it out there. Latch on to it now, because in a week, who knows? I could step off the curb and be hit by a car. I may not be here next week. <laughs> Take it now. Well, hey, one of the two. Absolutely. <laughs> just don't get that with people. They want, you know, well, I want to, want to ask you a question and you give them the opportunity. And then, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, i got to have a week's, you know. <laughs> am I going to get sued for time? I, I said, right. No way. And that's, I'm sure that's what he's checking into. Will I get sued if I... You know, ask something about Muktananda or something. Again, do you want to know or do you not? What is it? Give you the opportunity, either take it or don't. Right. But, uh, you know. Anyway. <laughs> so that's where that's at. So we'll leave this subject.